Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are at Northwest 122nd and Meridian. And on this sale, it's a little unusual. The family has not has requested me not give up the address until the day of the sale. So you're going to have to check on our website on Saturday or in the paper on Saturday to actually get the actual address. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but that's kind of how they want us to do it. This house is really big. It's about 3,000 square foot, and it is packed full like you would not believe. So this, we're going to start in the master bedroom, and as you can see, I mean, tables full, I mean, we have towels like you would not believe. A lot of stuff's never been used. Even this vintage stuff that's brand new, never used. And we have lots of costume jewelry. The lady was an artist, so she was very prolific. She won literally hundreds of awards. Almost every painting she has has award stickers where she took it, had it shown, and actually won either first place, second place, or best of show. Uh, and I can't give you her name until Saturday either. But, you know, that's kind of the family's wishes. Uh, there's also, she bought art from other artists, so there are some copies of some Kelly Haney's. There's also several other local artists in Oklahoma City. So if you like art, it's amazing how much art there is here. It's mostly original, all really nicely framed, and we're going to be selling it a lot less expensive than what she used to sell it for when she set up on her shows. Uh, like I said, this is a master bedroom. We have this uh, queen-size bedroom set. There's a dresser, end table, mattress, uh, headboard, nice little 1920s cedar chest, uh, little uh, round table over here, another end table, and the one on the right is made by Baker, so that's a really nice little table. We have bookshelves, and there are hundreds of books, or maybe thousands of books, that I'll show you a little bit later. We have this nice little chest of drawers. Uh, also, one of the coolest things in this room is this little vintage piece that is, like, amazing. The TV is supposed to work. I haven't seen it work yet, but the radio works. The phonograph needs to have, have it so it'll start turning, but it actually gets sound through it. But it's just a cool little piece of history. And... Here's some of the other paintings. Some of these are hers, some of these are not hers, but the ones that aren't hers actually are worth more than the ones that she did, kind of oddly enough. But she was very prolific. There's hundreds of paintings in the house that she did. And we're gonna go to the next room. Like I said, this is a really large house, so the tour will probably end up taking a couple of videos. Uh, these are more of her paintings. Most of these she did. Like I said, they're all fairly well done. Uh, she won awards on almost every one of them. Then we also have lots of linens, lots of vintage linens, still brand new in the packages. That's never been used. And it gets better from here, actually. The living room actually has most of the better stuff in it. This is a nice little 1930s uh, French-style American-made table with an Egyptian marble top. And we had this little gilt mirror on top. Some other vintage pictures and prints. And over here we have more of her artwork. I believe everything on this wall is stuff that she did herself. And she also was the secretary for a senator for 16 years, in addition to doing painting. This was her home office. And, of course, more original artworks. And like I said, there's other artworks from other artists that were actually a little bit, or actually a lot more well-known than she was. So even if you're not coming for her art, the other art's worth coming for. And tons of home office supplies. Most of it's still brand new in the packages, never used. There is a colossal amount of artist supplies that you'll be seeing a little bit later. And file cabinets, bookcases, more file cabinets, lots of little folder booklets. Like I said, most stuff is still brand new, never used in the packages. Uh, note cards, this pretty cool little uh, drop print secretary. And now we get to kind of go to the main living area. Okay. Uh, after the trip to the, the uh, utility room, 
we're selling this washer and dryer. They are a little bit older, but they still work. They, she was using it up until she passed away. Uh, all these cleaners, all these chemicals, folding chairs. We have a Nietzsche sewing machine, and as you know, those are really good sewing machines if you're looking for a vintage sewing machine. We also have an Elna sewing machine that we'll be selling. And now we get to go into the living room. And this is some more of the art. Like I said, most of this on this wall is all stuff that she's done. Even if you don't like the art, the frames alone are actually really great frames. Now we're in the living room. I'll just kind of pan around and let you see some of her art. And it really pretty much goes all the way around. So we're going to start over here. We have a couple little garden seats, a little French style armchair, marble top console over there. This is a 1930s reproduction game table. You have the top lifts up and flips open so you can play cards on it. It's really nice. It's in mint condition. We have a little French settee and matching table. And over here we have the exact matching little chair and also a little chair with no arms. And on this table, this table is made by Baker. It's very nice. It's mint condition. We've got a bronze made by, that was sculpted by Jack Riley. That's an original. We also have another bronze over here. It's a bronze puma. And lots of hand cut crystal and more work that she's done. We've marked her prices that she was selling for when she was displaying at galleries. We've marked them down to about a third of what she was selling, and that's what we're going to start with, and we're even going to go, if there's stuff left, we're even going to discount past that. This wonderful little 1920s uh, table with the lions carved into the legs. It's really nice. In case you're looking for it, we have a huge, this is a Baldwin Cinema 2 organ. It works great. Everything works great on it. It'd be great for a church. I mean, it's got the big, huge foot pedals. It's everything you could ask for in an organ if you're looking for an organ. And more of her art. And like I said, there's almost every one of them had ribbons attached somewhere on it. Little marble top table. And this is a little antique Victorian table. She collected Balik, so this is part of her Balik collection. And this wonderful little Italian art glass vase. And a lot of little tables. And let's see if we can get a better view of this table here. This is the 1930s one with the lions. She also has this huge fish bowl. This is cloisonne. And this she purchased. They found the receipt. She paid $3,500 for this cloisonne fish bowl. It's absolutely amazing. And over here we have more art. And kind of the more notable things on the shelves are we've got, uh, we have a Yadro, uh, that is the, I think it's the Don Juan Yadro, which someone was looking for last week on our Yadros. A couple of pieces of Balik. We have a few pieces of Waterford. Um, let's see, we have some Wedgwood. We have some other, like, really pretty fancy china up on the fireplace mantel. Some more of the artwork. And lots and lots of frames that she never even got to the point of framing yet. We're selling this little vintage living room set. And now we're going to go into the den area. More frames. Now this is her kitchen. We started running out of space, so you're going to notice that we've got a lot of stuff. So it kind of starts over here. Tons of corning, tons of pyrex. We've got, I mean, we've got the blue cornflower. We have the spice of life patterns. We've got, I believe, the French white. Pretty much every single piece and every single configuration. We have tons of corning ware, uh, corel ware, lots of glasses. We've got pans and some kind of fun 50s or uh, mid-century glass. We have a side-by-side -side white refrigerator. I'll try to get away from it to show you better. This is two years old. Still has the date code when they bought it in June of 2012. So this has probably only been here for about a year and a half. 
and this cute little desk here and another piece that she did over here we've got a table and chairs and these are the little rolling chairs and in the garage we've got the freezer in the garage lots more chemicals kind of over here in the corner is this really huge safe it's really kind of cool you can actually turn the handle I mean it's really kind of neat and selling all these metal racks I mean they the family are putting the house in the market so they want everything to go so it's all got to go you have some hand tools some of the tools are out here there's also a room in the back of the house that is that she used for tools so there's going to be lots of tools out there with lots of little storage trunks and as you can tell a lot of the stuff's never been used still in the packages lots of decor lots of christmas decor specifically these little trunks right here and we've got wrapping paper and a lot more just kind of don't want to say stuff but lots of just miscellaneous decor and other items okay we're back into the den area and books are literally everywhere there are bookcases full of books this piece is Drexel and she has lots of Frankoma kind of over here you can see some of the books. There are books on every subject. We have lots of books on art. We have lots of books on sheet music. Tons of magazines on art. And see these nice little Asian carvings. And <coughs> this little drop leaf table with chairs. We have a reproduction Roseville vase, a pair, little pair of recliners, and over there, lots more books. It's just absolutely amazing how many books there are. And this is the start of the artist supplies. She bought the good artist supplies, it's not the cheap stuff. There are boxes full of brand new tubes of paint never been used, brand new brushes that have never been used. There are literally hundreds of brushes that have never been used paints uh, you can kind of look over there another huge drawer full of brushes uh, this entire table back there I think is actually full of brushes and paints and things to work with in here we've got another bookcase full of art books and another bookcase full of art books we have this really nice little rattan set uh, I've seen these redone. A lot of people now are painting these black and redoing the cushions. They really look amazing. And these are the canvases she never even got to paint. I mean, and they go on for days and days and days all the way to the other closet. So if you want to start painting and like to be able to do it at a really reasonable price, definitely this is a great place to come buy some uh, artist supplies. Lots of paints, lots of chemicals, lots of cleaners more canvases. These are the canvases that she painted but never got framed. So we've got lots of these too. So this is also a nice little opportunity if you want to have someone else start a painting for you and you just kind of come through and finish it, you can uh, kind of take all the credit. And as I said, tons more, just buckets of paint. Now we're gonna run outside real quick. And we're selling all this little iron patio furniture. And this is part of the frame. There's more frames, believe it or not. There's more frames than you can imagine once we get them all lined up. And we've got all of these plastic storage tubs, plastic boxes, cases, trunks, you name it. And last on the list to go to is the tool hut, but I don't have the key for it with me. So you'll have to come to the cell to see what's there. But we certainly hope you come see us. It's definitely going to be worth coming out to visit. So come see us this week. Bye-bye.